Guys, I am so excited to get into today's video because we are talking Yeezy Day. That's right, we're going to be taking a look at the drop list for Yeezy Day as well as just getting you guys prepared for the stacked week of drops that we have ahead of us. So we do have a lot to get into, but of course we do need to do a release cap. And obviously real quick, if you're new here, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. This is where you stay up to date on all of the upcoming drops. Either way, let's get into this release recap. Um, I'm only going to be talking about two or three sneakers that recently dropped. First one we're going to talk about is one that was kind of interesting, Jordan 1 Low Bleached Coral. Now, I do believe that these are still yet to drop out in the US. I think you guys are getting it early next month. So this was just the EU or the UK, and I think it's a pretty clean pair of sneakers. You do want to see a review on this, especially for you guys out in the US before they drop. Uh, let me know, and I'll try and get a pair in hand, and I'll pump out a review. Now, another one that dropped, I believe, what was it, the 17th? So not yesterday, the day before, Friday is the Yeezy. 700 v1 high-res red this pair of sneakers right here yes i got them in and a full review is up on the channel so if you want to go and check that out feel free to do so definitely one of the crazier yeezy sneakers that we've had recently nevertheless it's a pretty solid pair of sneakers but uh yeah we get into all of the details over there so we're not going to spend too much time right but we do need to get into the upcoming sneakers because again we've got so much dropping i need to get you guys prepared so let's get into the off-white air force one mid these two colorways which is this one right here, the white colorway, and then this black one. They are loaded up on Nike sneakers. They are ready to go for June the 23rd. So let me give you a little peek at what that looks like. You can already see I am notified and ready to go for Thursday. I gotta be honest, I thought there would be a little bit more hype around this drop. Like, I mean, I don't mind the, the white colorway. I think it looks relatively cool, but I think the main thing holding people back from this colorway is not just the colorful midsole, but also the fact that it has spikes. Either way, let me know if you're going to be going for either of these colorways. All right, next up, of course, we got to talk about Monday's release. Literally tomorrow, we are having a restock of the Yeezy 350 Bone and the new release, which is the Yeezy 350 Onyx. So the Onyx is going to be the main one that is dropping in terms of like, I guess, a lot of people who already maybe have the Bones or just not into the all white Yeezy 350s. But I will say that this is going to be the more limited one because it is a, I guess, confirmed app exclusive. There's no other raffles out and about. About. I do think it's gonna be relatively high stock like I feel like if you want this sneaker you should be able to get it but at the same time remember how the bone drop went like I missed out because it was a confirmed app exclusive definitely have a lot higher odds going for the white colorway if you want the white colorway there's plenty of different raffles to go and enter up this one seems like they are going to pump the stock for the summertime good luck make sure you have your entries in again it is dropping tomorrow that is Monday let's get into some of the crazier shoes that have been popping up recently, which I do really like the look of, I must admit. Take a look at this right here. Of course, everybody's jumping on this uh, foam shoe trend. This one seems a little bit different because it's, I guess, 3D printed. So from what I can understand from this article is that this is some kind of NFT thing. It comes with an NFT or something like that. It seems pretty odd in terms of like the release and how they're gonna do this. It's not gonna be like a regular drop like they do other sneakers, um, but it it is obviously by ambush and I think the design of this is very very interesting yeah we're gonna keep it moving to one that is definitely going to be happening this is a cold wall and uh, converse to release the sponge crater and this is happening right around the corner on June the 23rd I believe that is the Thursday so this this design looks very similar to what a cold wall and converse did with their last pair of shoes except obviously this is I guess a foam construction with the sock piece so this orange part that is a sock piece that lives inside this foam crater shoe. I don't know how comfortable it's gonna be. This doesn't look too soft, but I don't know. I'm definitely gonna try and grab it because I'd love to check these things out. Right, I think another popular sneaker that is upcoming right around the corner um, is the Jordan 1 Low Mystique Navy. This is dropping on June the 30th. So that is already loaded up here in the EU. US, I'm not entirely sure. Just have a look on your Nike sneakers app. Um, sometimes you guys are behind with things like Jordan 1s and Dunks. So yeah, just keep in mind, it might be a little bit delayed, but it should be dropping out in the US as well. This one looks like it's going to be very nice leather. 
leather. Like, just look at that black leather. It looks like it's going to be very soft. We've seen the leaked images and everything of this sneaker, so this is just kind of the official images, the release date. You now know if you're after this sneaker, it's loaded up and it's set to go on June the 30th. We also got official images and release date of the upcoming Jordan 2 Mason Chateau Rouge. So this is a sneaker that we have seen a bunch of images of in terms of like the leaked ones, and these just recently popped up on the Nike sneakers app. I don't think these are gonna be that popular, but hey, I think this is a very clean pair of twos. Like the materials look insane. The colorway is very, very nice, all over sale and orange. But yeah, if you did want this pair of Jordan 2s, it is loaded up on the Nike sneakers app, ready to go for June the 24th. Like I said, guys, this week upcoming is just stacked. Right, this is another pair of clogs, which I think I'm more excited about. Like this one looks pretty insane. Take a look at this here. This is another collaboration between Matthew Williams um, and then obviously Nike. Remember Matthew Williams did some collaborations with some kind of crazy Nike models that I think I actually did a review on. I think those look pretty crazy. And this has a lot of those aspects, like the very angular design, very, very good looking on foot. Like just take a look at these things. I think they look insane. Look at this black colorway with the jeans. It's a really nice pair of, I guess, foam shoes. These are looking to drop this fall. I don't know why wouldn't they drop these in the summertime? Right, it's about that time. We gotta start talking about Yeezy Day. Before we get into like the Yeezy Day calendar or the, the predicted Yeezy Day calendar that we're gonna be taking a look at, let me show you a pair of slides which apparently is going to be dropping around that point. So this is called the Yeezy Slide Flax and apparently this is going to be dropping in August 2022, hence, you know, the whole Yeezy Day thing. This looks like a very interesting, colorway. This is obviously a rendered image or a mock-up of what the colorway should look like. Just wanted to mention this one before we get into the calendar because on the calendar this colorway doesn't look like this. And you'll 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 see. Let's talk about Yeezy Day 2022. Everything you need to know. Obviously as we get closer to August and obviously Yeezy Day, I think more and more different leaks and rumors are going to start coming up about Yeezy Day and what we're going to get. The Wave Runner is restocking again. These things just restocked in March. I feel like the Wave Runner is just just every single Yeezy day, they are going to restock. Turtle Doves, obviously this is like one of the most anticipated sneakers for Yeezy day, just because it's so crazy that they're bringing this thing back all the way from 2015, 2016, whenever they drop. Then we've got the Azael Yeezy 700 V3. This is one that I've always wanted, but it has just been way too limited um, and too expensive to pay on the aftermarket. So I just passed on them. But if I could get my hands on this one, it would definitely be uh, my go-to for a Yeezy 700. 100 v3 so yeah apparently we're getting a restock of that one so that's probably going to be on my like high priority list of yeezy day we're getting a restock apparently of the analog yeezy 700 if you're not the biggest fan of all of the crazy 700 v1 colorways that they've been dropping recently maybe this is a little bit more your style and we're also getting a restock of the utility actually no this is a new release <laughs> technically just count this as kind of like a restock but yeah if you need a black pair of 450s that's apparently happening on yeezy day um a restock of the foam runner sand i thought we were supposed to get it this month like a lot of the leaks and, and, and like rumors were saying that these were going to drop this month Maybe they're just saving it for Yeezy Day. I can't imagine they do a restock on both. And we're gonna be getting a restock of the Static 700s. These things also just restocked on March the 5th. I managed to get a pair on the restock, so this is really not one that I'm gonna be going for. I still have it DS because I'm wearing my Cream 700s instead of these. The High Res Blue Yeezy 700s. So obviously this is one I mentioned in my review for the High Res Red. This is just the blue counterpart. Yeezy Slide Flax. As you can see, the image here is different so I didn't know which one it was going to be. I decided to show you the flax colorway that we saw in that other article, but it's gonna look something, I don't know, just think of flax, what does that look like? I guess amber-ish, brownish, glow green slides, I guess they're just gonna do like a slide dump as well. And then the pure slides, of course, you gotta have those. The Onyx Foam Runner, so if you took an L on the Onyx Foam Runner, hopefully Yeezy Day is your time. These things literally just released though. Uh, the Vermilion Foam Runner, I think this is, I guess increasingly becoming more of a popular colorway for the foam runner. I think it's clean. Yep, it's gonna be restocking on Yeezy Day. The zebras, of course, because you can't have a Yeezy Day without the zebras. Um, and then the Sesame Yeezy 350, the Hospital Blue 700 V2, 
the Hyperspace 350s, the Oreo 350s, but that's pretty surprising. I guess it was quite limited on the release. I believe it was only a confirmed app release. So yeah, I welcome this one because it is a very clean pair of 350s. Uh, the Fade Carbon 700 V3, why? Uh, if we just got a release of these things. Didn't they like sit around? Like, I don't know, do we need them on Yeezy Day? And then the Blue Tint 350s, and then the Supermoon Yellow, or the, just the Supermoon Yeezy 500s, the Tefra 700 V2, and that is pretty much it for now. So that's already a pretty steep amount of restock. So I don't know if anything's gonna change, if they're gonna add more to this list, but let me know what you think of Yeezy Day 2022. It's If it drops like this, I think this is a nice balance. Like we're getting some retros, we're getting slides and foam runners, which we didn't last year, or we kind of did, um, but it was kind of like its own release. Yeezy Day 2022, if it looks like this, I'm pretty excited. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Yeezy Day 2022. What is the most appealing to you right now? If you could just pick one, like your priority on Yeezy Day, let me know what that is. Another sneaker upcoming next week. Again, we are slammed next week for releases. You guys are gonna have to start picking and choosing what you're specifically gonna be going for. The Union Nike Cortez is confirmed for June the 21st. I believe this is dropping on the Union website. Looking at the Nike sneakers app, they are not uploaded. So either they're gonna load up super late or we're just going to get a release potentially next week or something. But yeah, Union website, I believe that is the release for June the 21st. This one I just thought was pretty funny and I wanted to include it in here. So <laughs> Nike goes ahead and celebrates the sneakers app. You know, the Nike sneakers app that we all love, right? Every single weekend, we have such a great experience with this revolutionary app. It's like our favorite best friend. Friend, right? So of course you would think it's fitting that Nike, you know, celebrates the anniversary of this amazing app with a pair of sneakers and this is what they look like. So, I mean, okay, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying this is a bad colorway at all. In fact, I think it's quite nice, but just the fact that they're celebrating the Nike sneakers app, obviously I was joking. We hate the sneakers app. I don't know. I just thought it's funny. Like we're all supposed to like rejoice that the sneakers app is five years old when most of us have a hell of a time on that thing. Um, either way, if you are interested, if you want to join Nike in their celebrations, apparently this is dropping in August 2022. We're going to keep this next one pretty quick. Um, so obviously Drake dropped a new album. How you guys feeling on that one? There's definitely a lot of mixed opinions on that album, but uh, his new sneakers. So this is a colorway we've seen multiple times. I think we've even seen Drake wearing it, but uh, we've got official images. So these things are right around the corner. We don't have a specific release date, but but official images does mean that it is either this month or next month. This black and yellow colorway is definitely pretty clean. I don't mind it whatsoever. It just depends on how you feel with this uh, Hot Step Air Terra Nocta sneaker. So what is gonna be the new wave for collaborations? What is gonna be the new model? We've seen a lot of Air Force One mids recently, you know, Stussy, Off-White. Um, what's the next one? Nike Shocks? Potentially this one is definitely the more weird one. So this is Martin Rose um, And they're I guess collaborating on the Nike shocks mr4. This is for spring summer next year But look at these things bruh. They got the point on them and everything with the shocks. It's definitely uh, creative it looks like something I don't think I would ever wear, but hey, this is something that exists and it's going to be dropping apparently next year. So another Nike Shocks collaboration, which I thought was pretty interesting, is uh, Supreme. There's gonna be a bunch of different colorways. This white one with the red Supreme as the shock pieces, I actually don't mind this. I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, we've got this green one, which I guess is not my favorite. I would probably take the white one and then the black one. I thought it was very interesting. This is something, this is a model that we could start seeing a lot more collaborations on in the near future. Final story, and I gotta end it off with a banger. Now, this is something that I guess is maybe even old news at this point. I covered it in a reel. A bunch of other people made videos. Um, Kanye West calls out Adidas over fake Yeezy slides. Now that headline doesn't have a, as much kapow as it did a couple days ago, but it's still pretty crazy. So essentially Kanye took to Instagram and he wrote a whole caption just saying how this is a fake pair of Yeezys. This Adidas slide is something that is fake and he's not happy about it. it definitely seemed pretty extreme from Kanye in my opinion, just because for one, they've been doing this. Like Adidas has been making a lot of sneakers that look very similar to Yeezys and I was 
under the impression that that was like a thing for brands to do. Like Kanye knew about it and he was fine with it. It's a way for Adidas to kind of, I guess, use that hype of the Yeezy and just the designs that they had in general, make it more affordable and everyone's happy. And I also thought that this slide kind of had its own thing going on. Like it's, it's got this whole 3D printed looking thing. Like yes, the colorways kind of look similar to a Yeezy slide, but there are a lot of fundamental differences between them. It's definitely not as soft as the Yeezy slide. Um, it's it's different. It, it takes a different shape as well. Like the Yeezy slides have a very unique shape. They have the spiky traction pattern, which is pretty unique as well. So I didn't really see why Kanye got so mad, but apparently he is. And I don't know what this means for them moving forward. It seems like Kanye has low key had beef with Adidas. Like when he started wearing Jordans, started mentioning in uh, interviews that he wanted to wear Jordans and that Adidas should let him. It seems like maybe the two are slowly growing apart. Maybe Kanye wants to go and do his own thing. Maybe he's done with Adidas. We're gonna have to wait and see. Someone, I think in one of these articles, they mentioned that Kanye's contract to Adidas runs out in 2026. If Yeezy and Adidas were ever to separate, it would be around that time, 2026, uh, when Kanye's contract ends. Either way, if you're still after this pair of slides, go and check out my review, and also they are going to be dropping on June the 27th. So they're still set up to drop on June the 27th. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, I don't know if they'll get axed by then, but as of right now, they're still scheduled to release. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much all the stories I got for you guys. Again, super slammed week. It is time to get ready, get hyped. I wanna know what you're gonna be grabbing this week. I wanna know what you're most excited for. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then.